All right, so now the next part for this video, we're gonna finish all the rest of the review questions. This might be a couple videos, but the first thing we have to do is we need to change these powers. We wanna rewrite them so that we have a positive power and that is by writing it's reciprocal. So we need to flip both of these. So this is saying four times 10 to the negative two power now is squared over top of eight times 10 to the seventh power. We do not have to write power one because it's the same thing. When we take its reciprocal, we do not change this power the positive because this is saying <clears throat> that this 10 is raised to the negative uh, two power. So if we want to write that as positive, it would have to be one over 10 squared, which we don't do. It's just telling us which way we need to move our decimal. All right, now we'll go ahead and distribute this power of two into both of these terms or to um, the four and the 10 to the negative two. So that will then give me four squared, which is 16 times 10, remember our rule with power to a power is we multiply, so it's 10 to the negative four. Here we have eight times 10 to the seven. All right, now we need to go ahead and divide our like uh, items with each other. So 16 divided by eight is two. And then here we have 10, we have the same bases. Our rule when we're dividing with the same base is we subtract, so negative four minus seven, so it's times 10 to the negative 11 power. All right, that's it for this problem. Now on to the next one. All right, so here this is now simplify the following right in scientific notation. So two times 10 cubed raises second power, three times 10. So for here, the same thing, we need to distribute this two into both of these. Um, so two squared is going to give me four. Our rule with power to a power is we multiply, so it's times 10 to the sixth power. And here, when we distribute, we get three squared or nine times 10 to the negative sixth power. Right now we multiply our likes with our likes, so we do four times nine, so that would then give me 36. And then we do 10 to the six times 10 to the negative six, so that's times 10 to the zero power. However, in scientific notation, this number can only be equal to one or less than 10. So that means it's gotta be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. It cannot be a tens digit. So we need to rewrite this. So our decimal is here, and we need to move our decimal one place to the left, so now we will then rewrite it as 3.6. And when we move it to the left, we add one to our power. So zero plus one is one. So it's 3.6 to the 10 power, all right? All right, so now it says, how many terms would you have before simplifying? When we did this question in class, none of you or most of you were not reading the directions. It's how many terms would you have before simplifying? It does not say to multiply or what is the answer. It's how many terms. And remember, we can, do this to help us to make sure that we don't skip anything or do something twice. And we count the number of terms we have in each uh, factor that we're multiplying. So this would then give us two, because we have two terms, one, two, and this is one, two, three, four. So if we do two times four, that means before we simplify, we will have eight terms, All right? Make sure you're reading the directions on the test. All right, so here it's expand and simplify if possible, because sometimes when you do expand, you can't simplify. Now. Remember, you can use any of the methods that we did. I'm just gonna draw the arrows because that's what it seems like you guys like to do the most. So we need to uh, distribute the X in, so that gives me two X squared. Then we distribute the X in here, so that gives me minus two X. And then we'll distribute the eight, so that will give me plus 16 X. And then we distribute the eight again, so that's minus eight. So then we need to combine like terms. So when we combine like terms, here are like terms because they're both X's. X squared is not the same term as X. So this is two X squared. Negative 2x plus 16x is plus 14x minus 8. All right, on to the next question. All right, this one we can do two ways because remember, a shortcut we learned and we went through was if we had the same terms, so 3x and 3x and 1 and 1, but one of them has a different sign, then that means we can just square the two numbers. So we can do 3x squared and 1 squared, and then whatever number had the different sign, so this minus 1, that will become minus in front of it. And 3x squared, we will then distribute the square, so that will give me 9x squared, and 1 squared is 1, so 9x squared minus 1. All right, so that is one way of doing this. The other way, and I'm fine if you do this as well on your test, you can do it. This one you can do either method, but if you just go ahead and draw the arrows, that will then give us 9x squared minus 3x plus 3x minus 1. So because these are different signs, but they're all the same numbers, these two middle terms are always 100% going to cancel out. That's why we can just jump straight to this answer. 
So 9x squared minus 1 is your answer. All right, so for here, we need to distribute the 5 in. So 5 times x, which is 5x, time, 5 times 2, which is plus 10. Right now, just remember this plus sign here because some people were wanting to make mistakes, which after you distribute, you try to multiply, but we're adding whatever we distribute here. So when we multiply this in, that gives me a plus 4x. And when, when we multiply this in, this gives me a minus 4. So if this was a minus sign here, the negative sign will go with our 4 as we distribute. Right now, we need to combine like terms. So 5x plus 4x gives me 9x. And 10 minus 4 gives me plus 6. All right, when doing this one, it doesn't matter which two you isolate first, but you need to multiply first two of them, and then you multiply that third one last. You're not going to be able to multiply all three at once. So that means we're going to multiply these two first. So we distribute the x, so it gives me x squared. We distribute the x, so it gives me plus 2x. Now we're going to distribute the negative 1, so it gives me minus x, and distribute the negative 1, so it gives me minus 2. We combine our like terms, so it's x squared. 2x minus x is plus x minus 2. But don't forget, we still need to multiply by this x minus 3. So then we're going to go ahead and distribute this. So let's distribute the x in. So it gives me x cubed. This gives me plus x squared. This gives me minus 2x. Right? Then we go ahead and we distribute this negative 3 in. So it gives me minus 3x squared, minus 3x, and plus 6. Then we're going to combine any of our like terms. So there are, no, there are no other x cubed, so it's just x cubed. x squared minus 3x squared gives me negative 2x squared. Negative 2x minus 3x gives me minus 5x plus 6. All right, that's our final answer for that one. All right, so our next problem, you guys seem to all want to do the arrows, so I'm going to do that way. I do think the table is better for this one. But we do our arrows here, so it gives me x to the fourth. Then here we will get minus x cubed. Then here we will get minus x squared. Right? Here we will get plus x cubed. This will then be minus x squared. And this will then be minus x. And then our last one, this will give me plus x squared. This will then give me minus x. And this will then give me minus 1. All right, we're going to combine our like terms, so there's only 1x to the fourth. For x cubed, we have like terms here. For our x squared, we have like terms here. And for our just x's, our like terms. All right, so we're going to combine all of our like terms together. So we just have x to the fourth. Negative x cubed plus x cubed, they cancel each other out, so we don't have any x cubes. And minus x squared minus x squared, so it's minus 2x squared plus x squared. So it's minus x squared, and then minus x minus x is minus 2x, and then minus 1 at the end. And that's your final answer. All right, that is all I'm going to do for this video. The last two questions that were part of your review were for Pascal's triangle, and that's not going to be tomorrow. That's going to be the next class day, so I'm going to make that video separately, and I'll upload that another day.